In a further retreat from his business empire following a tech crackdown in China, billionaire Jack Ma will relinquish control of the country's fintech giant Ant Group. This comes after the firm's shareholders agreed to implement a series of adjustments that will see Jack Ma give up most of its voting rights. Now, according to an announcement by the company, Ant Group will give 10 individuals, including the founder, management and staff, voting rights independently and effectively remove Jack Ma's voting control of the firm. The announcement showed Ma indirectly controlled 53% of Ant's shares and deemed him the company's control person. After the adjustment, he will now hold just 6.2% of the voting rights based on information in the statement. The move marks an important turn in Ant's restructuring and power shuffling since China called off its $35 billion initial public offering nearly two years ago. The IPO was pegged as the largest in history. Its cancellation amid a regulatory crackdown sent shockwaves among investors. Ant has since focused on overhauling its business operations in a bid to appease the regulators. However, the resumption of the IPO will have to wait as it takes up to three years for companies to list on countries' share market after a controller change. Jack Ma has mostly disappeared from public view since he openly criticized regulators on the eve of the scuttled Ant listing in 2020. Many of his peers have given up their former corporate roles and have reportedly increased donations to charity to align with President Xi Jinping's vision of achieving common prosperity, a policy described by him for narrowing the widening wealth gap in the country. Chinese government over the past year has launched a crackdown on big tech firms a move that is aimed at curbing monopolistic market practices, consumer rights abuses, among other practices. This has forced the companies and nation's private sector to change the way they operate. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.